Mid-August. It was the peak of summer, and the sweltering sun was beating down on the residents of Trista. After returning from Heimdall, we were given a whopping five-day summer vacation before the school year resumed. Turns out, Thor sticks to its military roots, only granting extended vacations to students over the New Year's holiday. However, nobles are allowed to visit home, ostensibly to give them time to become familiar with their family's holdings. And, as you might expect, that meant most students from classes 1 and 2 spent summer away from Trista. Meanwhile, classes 3 through 5 were stuck on campus, envying the nobility as they studied and trained as usual. The other members of Class 7 and I chose to stay in Trista as well, facing the heat with our fellow students.
Excuse me, I'll have you know I did no such thing. Today. Instructor? Good morning, Instructor. Morning, everyone! Anyway, I'll have you know I've got a good reason for being late today. And that reason is... We're going to be welcoming a new classmate today. What? A transfer student at this time of year? Seriously? All right, come on in. Righto. Huh? Crow? But, but isn't he a second year student? I'm Crow Armbrust. Starting today, I'll be joining you fine folks as a member of class seven. It's going to be pretty sweet, guys. What? What? I mean, how? Are you sure you want to know? It's a long tale fraught with the intrigue of school politics. <sighs> I don't think I'd put it quite like that. Back in his first year, he slacked off so much that he ended up failing a few of his classes. Then he came crying to me in a panic, like, Oh, help me, Instructor Sarah, they're not gonna let me graduate. So as a special exception, he's going to be joining us for the next three months to pay for his laziness. You can't be serious. That's an even more pathetic reason than I was bracing myself for. I think you already know that Crow was one of the trial users for the Arcus test they ran last year. So I thought he might be a good role model for you. In that sense, anyway. And don't forget, he'll also be joining us on our future field studies, too. Nice. Looks like you saved me the trouble of having to explain it all. Anyway, let's let the good times roll. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? Right. Easier said than done, I fear. If he was any more laid back, he'd be comatose. Instructor, I can't help but notice you left the door open. Wait, is there someone else too? Huh? Are you serious? Oh, I was hoping to catch you off guard. All right, come on in and say hello. What? You must be joking. Hey, aren't you... You're the girl we met in the Nord Highlands. Yuppers! Long time no see, guys! But I see a couple of you I don't know, so guess I better introduce myself. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. And this here is Eric Gatlam. But we'll just call him Lammy for short. What the hell is that? Holy crap! It's that thing we saw at Ark's Fort. So this is that strange girl you met in the Nord Highlands. Oh, and a little house rule before anything gets blown up. No bringing that thing out in the classroom. If he accidentally smashes a wall or blasts through the ceiling, I'm the one who's going to get chewed out for it. Boo! Fine. <laughs> anyway! Nice to meet you guys! <laughs> Tell me you're kidding. Please? I really wish I could. <laughs> well, I can see we're in for some fun times these next three months.
As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, hi there, Reen. Do you have a moment? Toa? Well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? You've got a new student in your class now, right? Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be best to get it to her as soon as possible. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it for her? Oh, you're talking about Milliam. Sure thing, I'll come get it right away. You want me to swing by the student council room then? She sure doesn't waste any time. I should head on over to the student council room before it gets too late.
That's a catch.
sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, Rain! Not at all. Sorry for making you come all the way out here. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Anyway, this is Milliam's notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have, so she's the last one who needs it. Alright, I'll be sure to pass this on to Milliam next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the Academy? a recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division, really. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Apparently, it's something similar for Milliam. We can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. It's unusual. Anyway, because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing. So that's how it is. But even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class, too. <laughs> yeah. I was just as shocked as you when I found out. I knew he was a habitual class cutter, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. W whoa there. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. But as long as he's active and engaged with his class 7 work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah... Still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Am I right? Well, yeah. The principal thought placing Crow in Class 7 might be beneficial for the rest of you, too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Crow did that? Voluntarily? It might be kind of awkward having a second-year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13-year-old girl. Yeah, I get what you mean. So, she really is 13 then? Yeah, she scored really well on her entrance exam though, so I think she can handle the curriculum fine. <laughs> She might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. <laughs> now where have I heard of someone like that before? Oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, Alright. Excuse me, then. Hello? Green Schwarzer speaking. It's your favorite instructor here. Are you still on the Academy grounds by any chance? As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> no need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. You know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker. So could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? <sighs> all right. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the Academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of Class 7. W wait a second, when did I become the... <laughs> <laughs> she really does trust you. 
anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Of course. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks.
here! So this is Thor's military academy, huh? I think I'm gonna like it here. Ooh, I wonder what the view from the rooftop's like. Huh? Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Just been making myself at home here. C Crow? What are you doing in our dormitory? Well, I am a member of Class 7 now, so I've been given the go-ahead to move into this dorm now. What? That seems rather abrupt. The man. Sharon sure makes some amazing coffee. If I'd had a cup of that, I would have been banging down the door to join class seven months ago. <laughs> you flatter me, Master Crow. Would you like me to bring some of the cakes I baked earlier as well? <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Anyway, sorry it kind of came out of nowhere, but it's good to be here. Hmm. Looks like he's already made himself at home. Sharon didn't seem to miss a beat either. <laughs> so you're gonna be living here too, huh? Yep. Us newcomers have to stick together, right? I just finished hauling all my stuff over from my old dorm. Looks like I ended up in the room right across from yours, Reen. Uh, I see. I can already see things getting a lot more lively around here. Ooh, man. <laughs> 
Moving all those things really tired me out. I was hoping I could just stow all my junk in my old room, but Toa wouldn't let me. Well, of course she wouldn't. <laughs> you must be pretty exhausted. Well, I suppose now's as good a time as any to officially welcome you to the Class 7 dormitory. The pleasure's mine. And seriously, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. Come on, loosen up a little. We're classmates now. Just treat me like one of the gang and we're golden. You sure about that? All right, one of the gang it is. Feels weird to think of you that way after all this time, though. <sighs> if you insist. <laughs> well, don't strain yourself too hard there, Blondie. I'll thank you to never call me that again. Oh, and if you guys don't mind, I want to get in on the action when you explore the old schoolhouse tomorrow. Gotta get back in the groove with my Arcus again, after all. Huh? A schoolhouse? Who'd want to go to school on their day off? Well, we've got this, uh, this special schoolhouse here. Whoa, really? That sounds kind of cool. I want to come too. Uh, how did I know you were going to say that? Didn't I just get done telling you how dangerous it is? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. As long as I've got Lammy, it'll be easy peasy. And if you didn't take me with you, I'd just break down the door and come after you. Hmm. I wouldn't really put it past her either. All right, all right, have it your way. I'll be sure to let you and Crow know when I'm planning on heading into the old schoolhouse tomorrow. But don't just go wandering in there on your own without us, all right? Yes, sir! Oh, I can't wait to see what it's like down there! So exciting! I might not even be able to sleep tonight! It's a labyrinth full of monsters here, not a theme park. <laughs> Looks like I better give my pistols a little TLC tonight.
Wow, this is a big one! This is a big one!
Let's give this a try. Ooh, there we go.
technically edible. Well, if I must. A reasonable outcome. What an Adios's name is this? Mm, okay. Oh, came out okay. It's technically edible. my specialty.
let's go. Treasure chest. <laughs> Very well. Now is our chance. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Get him. Go. Okay. the enemy's vitals. I've got it! Alright! Bang! 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 Very well. My turn. That's not supposed to happen. It's my turn. Arcus, activate. Very well. How pathetic. by treasure. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Very well. Now is our chance! Gotcha! My turn! the enemy's vitals. All complete! Uh, uh, I'm done for! Very well. Got any more? Yeah. <laughs> 
This is bad. Arcus, activate! Uh, uh, I'm done for. It's my turn. Very well. Sorry. <laughs> Let's keep going. Success. spot huh. what even is this Oh, this is a big one! Huh. What even is this? What even is this? Huh? What even is this? Handle this. Here I go. All right. So. Eat less. We have the advantage. Very well. Turn. Yes, sir. Get up. Okay. Yes. Oh, we should be safe now. Very well. Alright! Freeze! <laughs> Get it? Yes, sir! Get him! Okay! Anna 
neutralizing the enemy's vitals. I've got it! Very well. My turn! Freeze! <laughs> Get it? Here I go! <laughs> it's my turn! Here! Oh, we should be safe now. over with. All right. Bang, bang, bang. Very well. How pathetic. Eat Let's get this over with. Very well. Freeze! <laughs> Get it? My turn! Get up! Yeah! Here! Yeah! There. Oh, we should be safe now. over with. All right. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? I'll handle this. Very well. All right. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Here. Oh, we should be safe now.
The matter of course. Yeah, more of that, thanks. I feel like I'm going stronger. Great! over with very well be gone all right freeze <laughs> get it it's my turn Gleaming Glitch! Go! Yes, sir! Get him! Very well. Be good! Ah! All right! Freeze! <laughs> Get it? Yeah! By treasure. So, eat less. Eat less. <laughs> what is that bizarre creature? Eat less. So, so. This might actually be a challenge. I'll handle this. Now is our chance. It's my turn. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. I've got it. Leave it to me. Freeze! <laughs> Get it? I'll handle this. Okay. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. I've got it. Leave it to me. Get it? I'll handle this. Be good. It's my 
turn. Yeah, you're done. Cross Raven! See ya! My turn. How pathetic. <laughs> A matter of course. <laughs> I did it! Yeah, more of that, thanks. Making progress. Great! Done. There's more. Stay alert. My turn. Leave it to me. Bang, bang, bang! My turn. It's my turn. Let's keep going. I'm awesome. Eat less. My turn. Go. Gotcha. Leave it to me. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? Here I go. Get up. Yeah. Gleaming blade. Go. This is it. I'll handle this. Leave it to me. Go get him. Feast your eyes on the power of friendship. You can't be... That strange glow. Eat less. 
Eat left. Eat left. Eat left. So. This one's nasty. Watch it's out. It's my turn. Moon Shield is crashing down. I'll handle this. Now is our chance. My turn. Get it? I'll handle this. A matter of course. I'm awesome! Yeah, more of that, thanks! I feel like I'm going stronger. I did it! Done. Eat left! Let's get this over with. Very well. to me. Eat left. Yes, sir. Okay. Here. Leave it to me. Eat left. <laughs> Handsome and strong. I'm the total package.
This one's all ours. My turn. Because Leave it to me. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Gleaming glitch. Go. My turn. Blow away. My turn. Leave it to me. Yeah. Oh, we should be safe now. My turn. My turn. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Gleaming glitch. Go. Yes, sir. Blow away. My turn. My turn. Yeah! I'll handle this. Yes, sir! There! Now! Uh -huh. We won, Emma! We won! <laughs> well done! My turn. Gotcha. Here I go. Now. Uh -huh. Okay. Here. Very well. My turn. There. Yeah, you didn't stand a chance. Now that's what I call a chest.
We finally made it to the end. Be careful! Yes, sir! Get up! Leave it to me! Freeze! <laughs> Get it? Go! Very well. Now is our chance. Leave it to me. It's my turn. 
Analyzing the enemy's vitals. I've got it! My turn! Yeah, you're done. My turn. Now is our chance. Yeah. Gotcha. My turn. Blow away. Yeah. Turn. Bang, bang, bang. Very well. Gotcha. Okay. My turn! Bang, bang, bang! Very well. Okay! Hear me. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I'm all fired up now! Very well. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Bang, bang, bang. I'll handle this. Now is our chance. Gotcha. It's my turn. Moon, shield us for present check. My turn. Yana. My turn. Bang, bang, get him. I'll handle this. Now. Gotcha. Yeah.
A matter of course. Yeah, more of that. Thanks. I feel like I'm going stronger. Done.
welcome back, Master Rain. Hey there, Sharon. I hope the sudden shower didn't catch you too unaware. Would you like me to fetch you a dry change of clothes? Nah, I'll survive. Thanks to your warning this morning, I was able to avoid the worst of the downpour. I'm amazed you were able to tell a storm was coming that far in advance, though. <laughs> Chairman Arena takes a lot of business trips, so I'm used to keeping an eye on the weather. Never being caught unawares is just one of the maid's many responsibilities. I can't really picture any other maids holding themselves to such an unrealistic standard. I'll let you know when dinner is ready, so just wait in your room until then. I expect the meal will take a little longer to prepare than usual today. Oh? How come? Well, with two new residents in the dormitory, I thought I might make tonight's dinner a little fancier than usual. A welcoming feast of sorts for them. Really? That sounds like a great idea. I'm looking forward to it already. Anything I can help you with for it? Oh, could you? I'm actually short a few ingredients, so I was just about to step out to buy what I need. I'd be happy to run to the market for you then. It's still coming down out there. Might as well go back out while I'm still damp, right? Don't worry about me. I don't mind. <laughs> well, if you insist, I'd be happy to take you up on your kind offer. Here's a list of everything I'd like you to buy. That should be exactly enough mirror to cover the expense. All right. I'll be back soon then. <laughs> take care out there. Looks like the rain must have stopped while I was inside. It's gotten pretty dark out, too. I'd better get back to the dorm. Oh, hello. Oh. You wouldn't happen to be one of the Class 7 students from Thor's, would you? Out for a little late night shopping, are we? You could say that. But how did you know I'm from Class 7? <laughs> You're one of the favorite topics at our radio station, actually. There are plenty of people out there who want to know more about Thor's dashing guys and gals in red. Oh, you work at the radio station? I think I've seen you around town a couple times in the early morning. Oh, really? By the time morning rolls around, I'm usually so out of it. I hope I didn't look like I was about ready to keel over. N no, not at all. Hold on. Your voice sounds so familiar. Oh, maybe you know me from the radio? Ahem. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. This summer's turning into a real scorcher, isn't it? To beat the heat, we're going to be broadcasting tonight from a park here in Trista. <laughs> Ring any bells? Wait. Huh? Y you're Misty? From Aubin time? Bingo! You must be quite the avid listener, recognizing my voice so easily. Glad to know I've got a faithful fan out there. Wow, I never figured I'd meet Misty herself, especially like this. <laughs> I always make sure to catch up in time. It helps me relax while I'm studying. <laughs> Thanks. But it sure is serendipitous, you know? Having a chance encounter like this, just after the rain's eased up? Ooh, maybe I shouldn't mention this on tonight's show. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that I really constitute a noteworthy topic for a radio broadcast. It's kind of weird. I only know her from Aubin time, but she seems just as friendly face to face. Hmm? Is something the matter? You're staring at me so intently, I feel a little embarrassed. Um, well, forgive me if this sounds a little odd, but this isn't actually our first meeting, is it? If I'm not mistaken, we met once before. In a hotel in Heimdall. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. I never figured anyone would actually catch on.
So you really are her. The Azure Diva herself. Vita Clotilde. Right you are once again. Honestly, even the people I work with at the radio station don't seem to have noticed, so I'm surprised you could tell. That makes two of us. I almost didn't say anything because it just seemed too implausible. But if you don't mind me asking, how did a star like you end up working at Radio Trista? <laughs> it's just a little something I do for fun on the side. Gotta spice life up a bit, right? The best part is, the people at the Opera House in Heimdall have no idea I come here to do my show every week. So don't go telling anyone, okay? It'll be our secret. Uh, of course. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm amazed no one else has figured it out, though. It's not like you use a different voice when you're on the radio. Well, there's a little trick to it. <laughs> you're not the only one who was surprised, though. Huh? I had this feeling I'd seen you before, but I couldn't put my finger on where. But it's you, isn't it? Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. It'll be a fun one. Promise. W wouldn't miss it. <laughs> and give my regards to those two, would you? She smells like... lavender? The fragrance really suits her. So Vita Clotilde herself has been hosting a radio show in Trista. Even if I told them, I don't think they'd believe me. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hey there, Emma. Did you just get back too? Yeah, I just returned a short while ago. Were you out shopping? Yeah, Sharon asked me to go out and pick up a few things for dinner. Though I ended up taking a bit longer than I expected. Wait, do I smell lavender on you? This is perfume, isn't it? How did it get onto you? Oh, right. I guess I must have soaked up the scent too. She did get pretty close. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, Reen, I can only hope the reason you ended up taking longer than expected isn't because you were... Whoa, 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 hold on. You've got the wrong idea, Emma. I just happened to bump into someone I know while I was out, that's all. Nothing scandalous, nothing I'd be ashamed of. <laughs> I never said it was. Though, you do seem strangely defensive for a man who has nothing to hide. Huh. I wonder what would happen if Elise and the other girls were to catch wind of this. I swear, I just ran into someone I know after I left the store. Nothing happened. You just like raking me over the coals, don't you? <laughs> Masterine, I see you've returned. Were you able to get everything I asked for? Sh sure did. Let me bring it over. Lavender. Huh. No, that's impossible.
So, the West Samaria Trade Conference is just over a week away now. A building that tall is exactly what you'd expect from an economic powerhouse like Crossbelt, too. <sighs> it's a big world out there. Still, we've got Milliam and Crow as classmates now. Would have seen that coming. Crow opened up to us right from the start. Though I guess that's just Crow for you. And Milliam's become way more attached to us than I thought she would too. They were both able to form combat links with us right from day one. I had my concerns about how well they'd mesh with the class, but maybe I was worried for nothing after all. August 18th and we're winding down a busy day here at 9 p.m. I'm here to give you all the cool you need to beat this summer heat. Hey, looks like I'm not too late to catch this week's oven time. Seems like those hot summer days keep coming with no end in sight, doesn't it? But even this heat can't stop the momentum behind the West Amuria Trade Conference being held in Crossbell later this month. Prince Olivert and Chancellor Osborne will be in attendance for this watershed moment in international business. <laughs> Personally, I'm more interested in the view from the top of that famous new skyscraper the talks are being held in. In some news closer to home, you all have probably noticed the summer showers we're getting here in Trista. The rain's let up for now, but it's managed to push that nasty nighttime humidity right off the charts. It's nights like these I wish I could smuggle an ice-cold beer into the studio. And the director is chilling over there, drink in hand, mocking me. But you know what? Forget that guy. Anyway, for all you students out there, your summer vacation's probably wrapping up, so I hope you made the most of it. Wait, I forgot that summer vacation at the military academy has already come and gone. Whoops. Still, it's never too late to do something bold that'll keep your memories of this summer burning bright. Hmm. And what about you, Miss Misty? You're probably asking yourselves. Well, you might want to sit down for this one. Because fate had a romantic rendezvous in store for yours truly just on the way to the studio today. A tryst with a young man in a park after sunset. Droplets of rain clinging to the grass. I'll treasure the memory forever. Or I would, if I hadn't just made it up on the spot. Chalk it up to a dreamer's poetic license, I guess. Still, maybe one day I'll feel the thrilling rush of a summer love. Gotta keep the fire burning. Wait, is she talking about when I ran into her earlier tonight? She's got quite the playful personality. Though somehow that doesn't come as too much of a surprise. It's kind of weird thinking that I just met her on the street a couple hours ago. Anyway, I have to get over to the studio now. Oh, and be sure to tune in to tonight's Aubin time. It'll be a fun one. Promise. W wouldn't miss it. <laughs> and give my regards to those two, would you? Those two? I didn't really think about it right then, but... Who was she talking about? Huh. Ah, so you've arrived. Good to see you, boss. You're awfully early. Well met, Comrade V. Comrade S. I see that you finished all your preparations as well. Smooth as silk. Although you're the one who'll be taking center stage in our next operation without a doubt. Who'd have thought you'd volunteer to go pound the pavement and crossbow? The Red Constellation are gonna be there. I still think I'm the prime choice for this one. I disagree. As I can no longer rely on the power of the flute, it makes the most sense for me to go. 
Especially when you consider the very real possibility that we may have to accept a necessary sacrifice for the greater good. That is the best way for us to achieve what we desire. You're serious? Ugh. You really are too morose for your own good. <laughs> I could say the same of both of you. Why else would you have willingly plunged yourselves into a struggle like this to begin with? <laughs> I suppose you're right. <laughs> you got us there. I see you've all gathered. Comrade C. Fashionably late, but worth the wait. That makes it a full house. I appreciate your gathering, comrades. The wheels have been set in motion. There is no place for hesitation, no time for looking back. We seek only results. I couldn't agree more. No objections here, either. It goes without saying. That said, I will ask you but once. Comrade G, are you certain this is the path you would walk? My heart itself beats with the ideals of the Liberation Front. If my life should see its end in Crossbell, so be it. That tyrant must be stopped from creating the vile dystopia he seeks. Dear though the cost may be, if through our efforts we or anyone anywhere succeeds in that aim, we will have our victory. Very well. May the goddess or perhaps powers less fair attend you. When this is over and our victory won, let us toast our success together in the Imperial Capital. Indeed. Farewell. He doesn't know how to express how he feels, but I understand. Losing your place in the world for doing what's right, and throwing yourself into the eye of the storm, it ain't something I could do. Different paths brought each of us here, but the road we travel now is the same. Let us depart, Comrade S, Comrade V. We each have our own part to play in what is to come. Of course. Just leave it to us.
Stay on guard and don't get cocky. <laughs> Leave it to me. Very well. Here we go. All right, let's do this. Here I go. Okay, it's safe for now.
Shall we begin? I'll handle of it. Of course. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> My turn. Here. Let's go! Here we go! There! <laughs> Arcus, activate! Leave it to me! Leave it to me. Yes, sir. Get him. So is everyone careless? Arcus, huh? My turn. All right. Here. Huh? Ah! Here we go. <laughs> Arcus, activate. Huh. You have my face. Yes, sir. Get him. My turn. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? Go. Who is it strong enough? Here we go! My turn! No! no. <laughs> Handsome and strong. I'm the total package.
on up. Here's a little something from the Academy. You did really well, Reen. Oh, right. We're heading out on our field study today. I don't need to get up just yet, but I guess it wouldn't hurt. Or I could just give in and go back to sleep. I'm still feeling kind of beat after training last night. Huh? Like, oh, right in the gut. I can't believe it. My very first class trip. We're gonna have the best time. How much money do I get to spend on sweets and stuff? Oh, oh, do bananas count as snacks? N no, no, they don't. Just, just get off me, please. Ah, there you are. Good morning, Reen. <laughs> Seems you had quite the rude awakening this morning. Yeah, Coffee only wishes it was that effective. She must have really been looking forward to this trip. <laughs> it certainly seems so. She holds her own in class, to be sure. But at times like these, she seems like any other kid her age. I'm looking forward to finally getting the chance to visit Laura's hometown. I've heard that Lagram is known for both its many legends and for the mist that hangs over the town for much of the year. <laughs> I don't know which stories you've heard, but most of them have been exaggerated in the retelling over time. It certainly doesn't lack for scenic beauty, though. I was hoping I'd have the opportunity to invite you to see it. Though I wish Elisa, Fee, and the others in Group B could have come with us. <laughs> Me too. I hope they enjoy their trip. Sorry to keep you waiting! Uses. Good heavens. Ugh, can someone do something about this child? She's out of control. <laughs> okay, looks like everybody's here. Let's go, go, go!
You're all heading out? What? Isn't that... Huh? What are you doing here, Lecter? You miss me already? Sure did. I'm gonna be back in Crossbell starting the day after tomorrow. Might never have the chance to see you again in this lifetime, so I figured I'd drop by and say hello. Psh, whatever. You're so silly. There's no way you or Gramps would die that easily. Well, that old goat might scare off the Reaper, but I'm pretty weak, you know. Who's he? 
Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. We saw him while we were on our field study in Nord. He's the one supposedly responsible for negotiating with the Republic's army to prevent war from breaking out. But... <laughs> so he's the iron blood they call Scarecrow. I have to admit, he doesn't look like someone who specializes in espionage. Well, I'm sure this little drop of sunshine's got suspicious written all over her, but I hope you're getting along. Don't hesitate to give her a good spanking if she causes too much trouble, though. Uh, okay. Um, we'll try our best to be a welcoming class. I'm not gonna cause them any trouble. Unlike you, I'm a little angel. What kind of little angel would casually whip out something like Eric Getlam in public? Do you have any idea how much overtime we put in just covering up for you? Huh? You do? Passenger service bound for Heindahl, now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. If you'll excuse us, Captain. I'm afraid we need to catch this train. Oh, sure thing. Uh, good luck out there, guys. Oh, and by the way, I'd prefer it if you referred to me as secretary rather than captain in public. After all, I am a second secretary for the Imperial government. I see. Well then, if you'll excuse us, Mr. Secretary. You'd better bring me back a souvenir from Crossbell. They seem like an even more interesting bunch than I'd heard. Hope she gets the chance to soak in the good times at school like I did. Well, well. For two Ironbloods, you two have a pretty cozy thing going. Uh-oh. Looks like a scary lady's got me in her sights. Time to make my exit. Not so fast. Didn't you have something you were supposed to give me? Come on. Cough it up. They don't call you the Purple Lightning for nothing. Maybe you should consider giving up this teaching gig and coming to work for us. I'll bet we could offer double what the Academy's paying you. No sweat. Ah, Strictly business, huh? Obviously. I'm not getting any younger here. Hand it over. This is the list of every member of the Imperial Liberation Front that we're aware of at present. We've made progress in identifying their top figures, too. I see. I suppose I should thank you. Oh, uh, one more thing. Claire had a message she wanted me to pass along. I'm listening. Their primary target is Crossbell City. But there's a chance that something else will be going down within the Empire at the same time. Those were her words.
Then let us begin our duel. Please draw a card. The first move is yours. Divine Bolt! Divine Bolt! Mirror! <laughs> well played! We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. Mirror. <laughs> well played. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. An excellent duel. Go easy on me. Shall we draw then? Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. It looks as though I win this time. If we have to. Draw a card. <laughs> Go ahead then. Take this. Take this. How about this? <laughs> now you've done it. Oh, you impertinent little... We have the same score. Let's redraw. I'll be going first. We have the same score. Let's redraw. We have the same score. Let's redraw. <laughs> Go ahead then. My victory was assured from the start. Shall we begin? Go ahead and draw. You should go first then. I'll use a bolt. A bolt. I hate to do this, but <laughs> well done. Huh. Well played. <sighs> it seems we need to draw again. Hmm. We should go first then. Done. <laughs> it seems the winds were on my side. It's time to duel. Come on, draw a card. You're up first, I guess.
four. Come on, draw another one. You're up first, I guess. Yeah, I win!
Very well.
cross inside a circle. Any idea what it means? No one really knows for sure. There are a number of theories, though. Unfortunately, the meanings of most animus symbols have been lost over time. I must. Done. You'll enjoy this. All right. I'll give it a try. Perhaps the winds are feeling this. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Mmm, that came out. Do what I can. That came out rather well. <laughs> nice find. Got a wharf here? We do. A ferry makes trips between here and the opposite shore. If you cross the lake, you'd be in the Sutherland province, right? Ooh, this looks like a good spot. Not 
bad. Wow, this is a big one!
This building is the Legrand branch of the Bracer Guild.
Thank <laughs> you.